Ladies and gentlemen, we have some of the craziest news for Hinda. Is this company working with alien technology in Nevada? Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Members of Congress are hot on the trail of UFO secrets reportedly held by the Pentagon, including Damn. allegations that alien materials are being stashed and studied by aerospace contractors. The fact that Pentagon recently came out and they said that they have uh, captured unearthly vehicles, that was massive. I'm not seeing many people talk about it. Now, at least one prominent defense contractor is letting it be known that it is active seeking government contracts that might involve UFO technology. George Knapp has our exclusive story. What? George Knapp? Yo, one in the chat if you know George Knapp. For those that do not know, George Knapp initially, the biggest story he broke was with Bob Lazar of Area 51. Like, all those years back and he's back? After all this time? Tucked somewhere in the vast Nellis Air Force complex, a private defense contractor is working on weapons tech that may or may not ever see the light of day. That same contractor has an office inside Wright-Patterson Air Base, home to the military's original UFO investigations. With 20 offices in 17 states, Radiance Technologies has quietly become a major player in developing cutting-edge weapons and systems for the Pentagon. But unlike some of its larger competitors bruh my man aliens would be like we need to help save humanity let's actually make sure that humans don't destroy their own race meanwhile humans let's actually take the uh, alien technology and weaponize that i mean my god that's such Bumbaka. such an human thing to do i Radiance guess doesn't shy away from a topic long considered fringe or forbidden ufos if somebody had a ufo and wanted to take it apart to figure out how it worked You'd accept that contract? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Why not, right? Uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm waiting for one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Tinsley is an engineer who spent two decades working on missile defense systems before he joined Radiance. Unlike behemoths such as Lockheed or Northrop, Radiance is entirely owned by its employees. Damn. Tinsley rose to become president of the company, which has its home base in Huntsville, Alabama. WWRL. Emma, also known as Rocket City. Whether in, in Las Vegas Bruh. and San Antonio, Dayton, Ohio, or, or Huntsville. It doesn't matter. You know, the idea there is we have a core. It don't matter. It matters. It matters, bro. It matters. Boom, values That runs through the, the company. So we have 105,000 square feet of facility here. Uh, so it's a, uh, you know, made up of laboratories, classified and unclassified. But what exactly does Radiance do? There are hints on its website of exotic defense technologies such as Star Wars like direct energy weapons, hypersonic missiles. What? Star Wars like? And if I'm not mistaken, how, uh, wasn't meant to play that. If I'm not mistaken, how many of you have seen Bob Lazar's interview? The original one, the other ones he did, and especially, specifically the one with Joe Rogan. If you have not, I highly encourage you to do that because he was also talking about, he was bringing in the point, like everything that you see in sci-fi, Star Wars, like we're actually getting there like in the real world and i mean now we're actually hearing about this situation i don't know man that's kind of wild systems to defend against cyber warfare and who knows what else mm, what are they doing at nellis air force base i can't tell you a lot right um uh, but what i can tell you is that we've supported um the las vegas community nellis uh air force base for over 20 years and, you know, what? a lot of the work we do is mostly for the Air Force, of course, um, but it resides in uh, uh, that RDT and e the Research Development Test and Evaluation Spectrum. As Tinsley knows, Nellis is one of the places rumored to house mysterious materials of unknown origin. Wrong. Wrong. That's what the government would say. The story first reported by us more than three decades Yo, ago. Yo, that's Bob. That's Bob. That's Bob. That's Bob. That's Bob Lazar. The man that apparently allegedly worked on the alien's craft, the UFOs, when he was, uh, I'm not sure how long, uh, you know what I mean, but, uh, but it's been years. And the fact that he still remains to the point where he always, whenever you interview this guy, the, this guy's not like selling books or anything like that, right? But whenever he's in an interview, he would still say the same thing over and over and wouldn't change the story after all this time, which tells me that he's genuine, man.
to go is that a super secret program housed in or near Nevada's Area 51 military base has been trying to reverse engineer alien technology. That story spread all over the world, but has been dismissed as mere folklore by military agencies and defense contractors. Now, however, Congress is nosing around. Key committees have received closed door briefings alleging the rumors are true, and legislation is pending to encourage whistleblowers to step forward and tell what they know about crash. Man, recently there was an Israeli, I believe, uh, higher up that came out that said the Galactic Federation is real. Uh, that's his words. I'm not sure about this one. And it was it was actually wild because he was a real really higher up guy. We haven't had any update on that, but he said the Galactic Federation is real and the aliens say that humans are not ready yet. For what? I'm not sure. I'm assuming probably like to make contact, the first contact. Yeah, man, it's actually wild. Like this is fascinating stuff, whether you believe it or not. Pretty sure a lot of what would be false, incorrect, and fake stuff as well. A lot of it would be just uh, whatever. But I feel like there is some truth to that. There is uh, some stuff that is actually legit. Saucers. Radiance isn't able to confirm the allegations, but the company has positioned itself just in case. Months ago, it announced the hiring of a reverse engineering specialist, longtime Navy intelligence official Jay Stratton formerly the head of the Pentagon's UAP, or UFO, task force. Stratton urged Radiance to hire Dr. Travis Taylor, who worked with Stratton as the chief scientist for the UAP task force. When Radiance announced the hiring of the two veterans of UFO research, its news releases pointedly mentioned their UFO credentials. Man, okay, I would say those of you that are not familiar with Skinwalker Ranch, get yourself familiar with that. I actually did end up watching Mr. Ballon video, just YouTube Mr. Ballon after this Mr. Ballon Skinwalker just Mr. Ballon Skinwalker and watch that video because it's one of those stories that is really just fascinating because there was a billionaire uh, I forgot his name that got his scientist like the real world story by the way not a fiction not like anything like that got billionaire got scientists involved they lived there for a couple of years and they have documented and have witnessed some real bizarre stuff with like uh a little bit of like portal stuff alien stuff weird creatures there's a whole lot of teleportation kind of stuff in there too as well and a lot of really bizarre stories that will surely even if you don't want to believe it uh it will entertain you first of all and secondly if you are open to the idea it will be really fascinating not worried about uh, it creates a perception of you as a company that is reverse engineering ufos or something uh no no we provide customer solutions so whatever our customers uh, wrong, wrong that's fake cast to, to work on and support them that's what we'll do. Astrophysicist Travis Taylor won't say what he and Stratton are working on, but made it clear what they hope to tackle. Jay and I are, are working on growing the, the uh, capabilities of uh, doing reverse engineering of, of uh, foreign uh, materials and so on. And so that makes it. When you say foreign, do you really mean like alien technology or foreign as in like other country technology? Because when you say foreign, I'm assuming they mean alien technology, but these are the terms, right? Like, are we really at a point where we're just talking about this officially? Which is, I mean, I'm all up for this, man. I'm all up for the fact that mainstream media is now covering news like that. That actually brings me uh, a lot of comfort that maybe during our lifetime we might actually find out about stuff right like this brings me hope and i genuinely believe that in the next 50 years i hope a little bit less than that i don't want to be like 70 80 years old uh, finding out about alien life and you never know like we might be dead be before like long gone right it's fascinating stuff man perfect place if we were to uh, get something to reverse engineer, we would absolutely want to do that. George Knapp, A News Now. George Knapp, bud, click on this video on the screen and I'll see you right there. I'm telling you, man, if you think this video is crazy, just get deeper, man. I'll see you right there. Subscribe.